a stranger in a strange land. As a Greek American coming to be the Archbishop, it would be Orthodox community here in the UK. But to bring to this fellowship the true spirit of Orthodoxy and Christian love. You don't need to know about me because I'm not important. What's important is what we're going to do together. And I think of two things. When I was in school, someone wrote an essay called Take the Masks Off and invited people to take off the masks and be who they really are. And I think we should take off our masks, not worry so much about identities and titles, what describes us and what names us, but we should be really who we are. And in this gathering, the basic principle and most important is Christians. And when we can come to work together in solidarity with love and humility, with understanding and fellowship, and acceptance of equality, we will move forward. The second thing, prior to my coming here, I lived in San Francisco. I don't know if you've been there. Maybe to the church of St. Gregory of Nyssa with the dancing saints. And I spoke about them this morning when I was at the conference, the gathering. There is a line of saintly or holy people, according to the artist, and they're all joined together holding hands. My favorite line in the book of Psalms is that short verse, where you have changed my mourning into dancing. And we as Orthodox invite the rest of you to dance with us. And to dance in a Christian way together. Because life is too short to be miserable. <laughs> a friend of mine used to say that all the time. She was one of the wisest people I ever met. But we invite you to dance with us because in our culture, in the Hellenic, the Greek culture, and as many of the cultures, especially in the Balkans, when we dance, we have line dances. We form circles. And we hold on to one another and we support one another through the movements. Let's move through the waters together. The troubled waters of this day and this age, and let's part them. And let's walk on dry land so that we reach the real promised land so that there is one flock and one shepherd. Thank you very much.